Hey, wonderful people, welcome back to this YouTube channel. So today, let's take our time to talk about ordered list or numbered list in HTML. Okay, we are going to discuss some of the specificity of this HTML element, how to create uh, your ordered list and how to play around it according to your needs okay so html ordered list or numbered list displays your element your list items in numbered format and we all know that in order to define your ordered list you use the html element ol okay ol stands for ordered list and inside inside you are going to write what we call a list item okay so list item is li like this so um we can also use ordered list to represent items uh, either in a numerical order format or in alphabetical order format and that's what I will show you here we are going to use a series of attributes you know to actually uh, display your numbered list in any format you want okay so um, so they can be different types of numbered list you can have numeric numbers uh, in your list you can have capital roman number you can have small roman number you can have capital alphabet small alphabet uh, and all of that okay so in order for you to represent your order lists there are five you know um there are certain attributes that you can actually use in order to do that then the first attribute that we're going to talk about is going to be the attribute type let's say for example here you have your attribute and uh, so let me just create some list items here so i'm going to write you know some items and I'll say like this, London, Berlin, Milan, and then Madrid, like this. So by default, you know, you can see that by default, we have numerical um, list here. Okay, so this is by default. The list items are going to be numbered using um, numbers. But if I use the type attribute, for example, here, and say that I want to use type one attribute, so nothing is going to happen because type, and when you assign the value one is the default display of your numbered or ordered list. Let's say, for example, I want to use, um, you know, the uppercase Roman numbers to actually uh, format my list. I will say I like this. So now you can see that the numbering of my list has changed. It has now changed into the uppercase Roman numbers. Okay. If I want it to show lowercase roman number i uh, will say i like this now you can see how it's showing with lowercase roman numbers if i want the alphabetical um, format i will say a so this is going to display with uh, uppercase alphabetical letters and if i want lowercase alphabetical uh, numbering i will say a in lowercase and then there you can see how it's displaying so that's basically how you can play around using the, um, the attribute type yeah so 
you can list your display your list in Roman number uppercase lowercase in alphabetical um, uppercase or lowercase and all of that so that's basically it another attribute that we can talk about is the the attribute start okay the attribute start is an attribute that you are going to use with the ordered list tag to specify where to start your list item so as you can see if i say one here my list will start with item one two three four five what if i want you know the list item to start from the number four for example so I would need to use the start attribute. I will come here and say start. And I will assign or specify the value where the start, um, where to start my list item. So if I say for here, and there you can see my list item will start from four up to eight. So this is basically uh what will happen so if i say four here so because here we're using numerical numbering what if i use the roman uh numbering i would say uppercase uh like this there you can see it will start from four but in roman uh numbering system if i say lowercase so that's going to be that in the alphabetical uh, format if i say a in a capital letter like this so this is going to start from d e f g h the same thing if i say in lowercase like this so that's basically the use of the start attribute okay so you can play around that if for whatever reason you want your list item to start from a number which is not uh, one okay so you can use the start attribute to do that but as we all know by default when you start a list uh, you will basically start the list from the number one but for whatever reason if your project or maybe the, the the website that you are trying to develop wants that you start your list from a different number than one so you can still use the start attribute to do that so that's basically how you can do it let's talk about another attribute which is the reversed attribute Okay, so the reversed um, attribute is a Boolean attribute of uh, your ordered list element. And it is uh, a new attribute in HTML5 where uh, you can use that to reverse your attribute. Okay, so let's try this here. If I say reversed, for example, so now you can see how this has reversed. Like if I say one, like this in terms of numbers, so it's going to start from zero, one, two, uh, four, like this. So it's going to reverse the listing of your um, of your list. Okay, so it's going to be uh, a numbered list in a descending order, as we can see. So if I remove the start, like this. So now you can see it starts from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But if I bring back the start attribute, one thing you can note that we will have zero part of the numbering system of our list, okay? So that's uh, a nuance that you can actually uh, know about. So maybe it's better for you to remove the start attribute here. So if you remove that, it's going to show your numbered list, but in descending order, and it's going to stop at one like this 
you can also use different types of um, numbering system here and this is still going to work so that's it about the ordered list what i wanted to show you you know the different um attributes that you can use in order to play around ordered list you know the type attribute the start attribute the reversed attribute and all so guys if you have any question about that feel free to write in the comment section and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this youtube channel let's meet in the next one